I was hoping you could just start by chatting me through kind of what your position with AFLW is going to be. I'll be in a midfield assistant coach for North Melbourne. So. And what's your experience with footy both as a coach and as a player? Uh, this year I was coaching in the VFL for the back line as well as playing. Um, and then I've obviously played in AFLW for the Western Bulldogs um, and at VFL level for a number of years. And how has being a player helped inform your coaching? Yeah, it definitely has that, um, that insight into what a player feels like and what they want to get out of their coaching um, staff as well. But um, I think that's going to be a real advantage for us and hopefully I can share that experience with the players. And I know that you're a PE teacher during the day. How do you balance working as during the day and then going to coaching later? Yeah, it's, um, it's very good on my time management. I need to be really on point. Um, I guess it's really about what I do in the day and making sure that um, my classes are all up to date and I'm really com like committing to everything there and then um, outside of that at North Melbourne, committing to everything I can. So it's, it's a fine balance. Probably don't see my family as much as I'd like to, but um, yeah, that's, that's what's working in the industry is about. So it's good. And I know that you played for Diamond Creek. Um, did you bump into Scott Goins, I assume? Yeah, he coached me in 2017. Um, we had a really good relationship there and yeah, he's an excellent coach and that's probably helped in my decision making to come across to North Melbourne. Um, yeah, definitely bumped into him and yeah, he was an excellent coach. So. What are you most excited about in the upcoming year? I think being the first year of a program is really exciting um, at North Melbourne and starting afresh. Also the list that we've been able to build is um, really exciting with the talent on the page so hopefully we can get it all together on the park. So how many of the players are of our list do you know previously from either playing or coaching or just around? Uh, I'd say a large portion, probably 90% um, of the players, obviously a couple of the Brisbane girls I'm not too familiar with. Um, through state football and AFLW you've crossed paths a lot, played with or against so yeah it'll be good. And then what do you think your biggest skills are that you're bringing to the table? I think um, my footy knowledge and also experience in AFLW, but um, relationship building amongst the list too. I think that's really key and um, a big part of our coaching philosophy at North. And I hope to bring that across and um, make it a real strong point for us. And then I know in AFL and AFLW, the coaching, it's a male dominated industry. How important is it for you to kind of create pathways for girls and women who want to get into coaching? Yeah, definitely. I think um, taking opportunities that are at hand that suit you um, and they're a good fit for you is really key. So um, this probably came up slightly early for me, but I think um, the opportunities are so good at the moment for females in AFLW and VFL that um, you've got to take them and take the plunge. And, and I think we're well supported now. So I think it'd be good.